Hello everyone, my name is the Ammonite, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 26th game in the 31 Days of Horror that we are currently doing on the channel. Today we are playing the Glass Staircase. Um, another puppet combo game. Uh, um, you're always going to get straight into this game. Um, I think I've mentioned it on the channel, I love puppet combo games. Uh, I, I honestly I love them. They're my favorite game developer for horror games. And this is like the second newest one. Or oh, it's like the newest one on console. The main reason I love Puppet Combo games is just the art style, it's... They, they prove time and time again, you don't need, um, like, really, really good graphics to make a horror game decent. And fun fact, my first um, game on the YouTube channel, on this channel, was... Um, take your tablet, no. Um, my first game on the... Hello? It was you? You shouldn't go. You shouldn't go. Um, yeah, my first game was a puppet combo game. Attention all, attention all, this is the estate. Helen, if you've already taken your tablet, if you've already taken your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We've been new tasks later on the table have half over directions. This is all ladies. Um, I hope I'm next. I'm not taking my tablet, I don't trust it. They picked you, Helen. I can't wait to go home myself. I have to take my tablet first. But why? You know, this is starting to remind me of... Um, I haven't watched the movie myself. Uh, good girls take their medicine. It was. Uh, if anyone's heard of a channel called How to Beat, um, they post like video. They post like videos based around. Uh, um, basically, a movie, and then they'll tell you how to beat the movie and the mistakes that people made. Um, they did one, one movie where it was about like. Uh, an orphanage. And they had to take tablets. I'm not gonna go into it too much. I don't know what the movie's called. Um, if I know what, if I find out what it is, I'll put the picture up right now of the video that they posted. Uh, but yeah, I... I don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to do about that. About, like, the camera. I mean, I love the style. It's just... I know I changed the style for Blood Wash because my partner doesn't really like the pixelation. I let her read it. A letter addressed to a Martin M. Tatum. That sounds... You were hearing the one. Um... I'm just not going to be able to speak, am I? Because this, this fucking cunt downstairs is just like... Also, sorry if it takes me a while to get used to the tank controls. I mean, I, ha I am used to tank controls. I played Resident Evil 1 and the original Silent Hill 2, but... Still...
we do a little walking around? I don't know what I'm looking for. I love the Resident Evil 1 doors as well. And the Silent Hill 2 original. I'll actually, then again, probably like Silent Hill 1 and 2. Thank you for stopping the music, by the way, because, like, I want to talk. Um, you are being very rude by playing that too loud. Please don't jump scare me. A musty wardrobe, nothing of interest. That's one thing I will say about um, fixed camera angles as well. The camera can be, like, off the side of the screen, and then something could just run in. A grandfather clock. How long have I been here? Wait, what? It no longer works. How long have I been here? November the 11th, 1918. Edward at last returned home from the Great War. I give thanks to the Lord for his safe return from Germany. I think that just days before he was ripped from me to be a doctor. In the war we were married. He's returning to his job at Queen Mary's Hospital in London. What dreadfully drive it is back and forth, day in and day out. And with the epidemic that has been plaguing the countryside. Well, I worry for his health. God willing, he'll be alright as he helps us. Prepare. My husband hasn't been the same since we went back to work. For weeks he's been sending more time in the basement. Spending more time in the basement, sorry. For than the rest of the house. He doesn't even come to bed most nights. I sometimes find him asleep down there in his lap. Asleep on his desk and during the day no less. I asked him if, him if he himself should visit hospital for a checkup, but he brushed it off. Saying how he's a doctor and how he knows better than me. I can't help but fret though. He barely touches the meals Maria makes him. So... My god, this is long. If the world is to know anything of me from this journal, let it be that I have always been an understanding wife. The love I felt for Edward in all our years together has never won. It has never waned, not in the hope, loneliness, and uncertainty of the war, and not in the new growing void between us. This void of obsession, as many fears as I've had, I've always put the rational aside when I heard him assume that, that these experiments were necessary and that they were going to repair what faith his colleagues once had in his ideas. <sighs> I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Perhaps even save the lives of so many more that still suffer the horrible affliction. Spectacularly I thought, as that may be, his words were all I had during the war and they're all I have now. The faith his promises have provided me, however, is becoming too worn to be any of new comfort. Though it was far against his will, I've been privy to the growing scope of his work for a while now. Oh no. Oh shit. Um. We kind of bugged out. Oh, what did I do? I can't. I literally can't do anything. I'm gonna have to stop the recording and then re-record. So I'll be right back. What started off as the same treatments and experiments that have been followed that have followed him through for years has become something else entirely. Large, horrible structures have been in this focus for some time now. They look as Mechanical as any transport I've seen, but their shapes are much more ornate. The iron that holds their frames has been carved to deliver you with hollow shapes, so they resemble something I am beyond being able to describe. Exactly what they call these metal shells, sinister, will be admitting I even just understand what they are. And what this is supposed to accomplish, this is far from any medicate, medicine that I've known very much practice, but he continues to call the firm devices. His distance only seems to widen from his work and from the sciences that he swears by, but I can only sit as idle as I can, swearing some hope that his plans are going as he says. It is hard to ignore the things I'm hearing of in the night, the murmurs of the help as they come to me for some kind of assurance. Expecting that I know it's my husband's actions, half as well a good wife sh should. I have nothing for them but the promises that he gives me. He's a doctor, he knows what he's doing. Nothing I say to them can be said in confidence anymore. I may be an understanding wife, but there are limits to even my understanding. Just worried about you. An old piano trying to move it. What a very like specific thing. An old key.
Okay, so there's no way to actually open up my inventory. Um, other than pressing start, but that just takes me to something completely different. I'm assuming much like any Resident Evil game. Yeah, you just interact with the stuff and then they open. What do you remember about your parents? How long did they before jumping over the time? It is so, so loud. I'm hoping my voice is like hitting. Did you hear those sounds last night? It was pretty weird. Jump scare, god damn. I don't want to speak and like say stuff because like it's so loud. I know I don't think it's going to be like registered. I mean, I've tried to turn it down, but there's no way to turn it down. Probably combo just, I don't think in this game they want it. It's probably because they know people will turn it down for the scares, so they're like, not allowed, not a chance. Oh, it's like a fake wall. This morning, a pack of dry food from the market from Korea. The man I can make the trip was so Great many things that I've been able to overlook in the world. It's really the house. The office sounds the confusing much more sounds good. Thank you. 
Okay, sorry. I I'm gonna look into this. Uh... I I want to talk, but I, I can't. It. It's like it's like amnesia of the bunker. Like it's so loud, and there's like there's nothing here to turn the volume down. And that rain, I'm assuming it's gonna like mess up like how I'm speaking. I can finally speak. Thank God. Okay, wait, no. No. You right. You stop the rain because you're gonna you're gonna give me a jump scare. And I'm gonna have to run out of this maze. Okay, once again though, I apologize that I could not speak for um for the rain. I mean maybe maybe I could. Also the notes, um I couldn't really read them because I couldn't concentrate. Um I miss the rain. Also, I've got a theory. I, I I don't know if like it was able to be heard through the actual, um, you know, through the rain. But what if that blood was left behind? Okay, I want to pause this just in case I get jump scared. Um, what if the blood was left behind by that girl that opened the door and her eyes went big? And this is a different girl. I mean, it might not be a different girl, but I think it's a different girl. Um, because I do not remember the main character being called Betty. Oh, uh, I could be wrong about that though. <laughs> what was that? What? 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 What, 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 what? What are we running from? Who am I running from? How do I get out of here? Am I gonna die? Probably. Is got to be the best jump scare I have had. Oh my god, that was perfect. I really hope this stream does not get corrupted. Oh my god. We are still alive. That is perfect. Oh my god. That jump scare was perfect. So we are different people. Um, we're Dorothy now. Attention. All attention, all this is the estate. Dorothy, if you something, I'm prepared to task you the letter on the table and have their instructions. Remember, my good girls take their medicine, good girls do their chores, good girls go home. That is all, ladies. <sighs> I don't like this game anymore. The glass is empty. That, that, that jump scare got me. Like, that was a genuine, like... <laughs> I was trying to, like, make it so, like, I wasn't going to be scared. That's where I was going. What are we running from? Am I going to die? Probably. All this. And it didn't help. So, yeah, something is killing off all of the girls that constantly keep going through this place. Still don't know why it's called the glass staircase. Um... Do not. Oh, what's that? I see glowy. I didn't say glowy. Okay, let me just like run to the actual thing. Eey. Also, I was like holding the right trigger to run. I don't think right trigger does anything. 
I mean, it kind of just makes you like strafe left and right. No wonder I was walking so wonky. I don't want. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm. I love Puppet Combo though. Oh my god. Sorry, if we have begun entering the later yet, it is such our daylight hours are getting shorter. We are entrusting you to light all the manners candles before nightfall. I snuff it as well as snuffing them out in the morning. Fuck! This is the large responsibility, but we trust that you are more than capable of it. We will almost do our part here. You're such a responsible young lady, Dorothy. Surely your family will be glad to have you home. Oh no! Oh no, Dorothy! Run! I just be fast. Run, Dorothy! You're gonna die! As if the blood stain wasn't obvious enough to the first goal. Run, Dorothy! Run! She's gonna be. She's gonna light the candles, and then it's gonna go dark. Oh, I got shit. Well, run, Dorothy! You don't have to do the story, Dorothy. You know that, right? You can run. You must run. There is a, <laughs> a ten foot tall red man running around. And he's killing you all. Where you gone, Dorothy? I can't see you. Dorothy? Oh, there you are. Just, just run, just run for the hills. I don't care, right? If one of you, one of you, right? Assuming, like logically, I know I, I didn't read the notes properly, so that's probably like I missed some stuff. But I'm assuming ugh, the blood is still there. You've unlocked it. I don't want to unlock it though. I kind of want to go save her dead bodies out there, but at the same time I don't, because I don't want to get lost. Um, my assumption is, when they say they're going home, um, they're just going out to die. And then the girls are like, oh, they must have went home. And then the, the blood, the red the red stains there, I'm assuming it might, it might not be red. Maybe they just brush it off like, yeah. Someone spilled some gin. But then again... At the same time, maybe they've never known what blood looks like. Just a candle, nothing interesting. Well, you need to light the candles. And the Lord saveth unto me, go out unto the masses and preach my word, for the kingdom of heaven is but a lie. Indeed, tis a lie, a lie. The God of our... <sighs> the God of our far, 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 forefathers is dead. I'm just going to quickly check that I'm still streaming because I would hate to lose this stream. Okay, we are. Um, in this place we will make an new lord. I bet our lord from below. Below we will arise, arise into the slaughtering world of Pan. My brothers and sisters, our salvation lies in Dr. Edward Sullivan, prophet of the new word for our lives. Do we owe him? I need a lighter. I don't. I hate this. I will admit I love and I hate for the combo. Like it is so terrifying. It's such it's such a terrifying game in the way they make them. Like the scares are perfect. Um That's probably the other woman that lives here. Well, I don't. All right, I don't know if that's like my audio cutting out or that's the game. Um, if that's the game, perfect. If that's the by just audio cutting out, I fucking hate you. Who, who, these head. I'm assuming it's, if it's if it's not the audio, it's the headphones and fuck the headphones. <laughs> that is terrifying. Trying to see if I'm still alive because I do not want to lose that footage of me like screaming. Oh, fuck. 
I think once again I'm going to look at the footage of someone doing this part just to see where the lighter is. Because I mean, I can like look around for the candles. There, there's no harm in doing that. Um, okay, so the box of matches is in this room. Can I just say, it got dark very, very quick. Also, if the monster got, uh, got her at the door, and then the other monster got her outside, and then the monster gets inside to get her, then it's inside. <laughs> Oh, I regret. Lights on. Light a candle. I saw deep regret. Run, Dorothy, run. It got Betty and... Say that. A wet box. The contents have been removed. Well... About that wet box. Um, that was from your friend. Ah, fuck! Also, why is it green? Does that imply that, like, it just, like, ate her entire body and then, like, vomited the box? I hate what this game is making me feel. It is making me feel panic and fear. <laughs> but then again, isn't that what Halloween's all about? Oh, I, I fucking hate. Right, like, I didn't know if that was in like the other when I went through the door, but I just realised I hate when door. I hate when you can see from the windows or like them long passageways because something something's gonna run. My ears are not ready for another jump scare. Neither is my heart. Uh, I will definitely, once again, I will be platinum in this game. I don't know, I just think it's a nice thing to say, like... Just in case, you know, anyone thinks, Oh, I bought this game, I played it for a bit and then I stopped playing it. I will platinum this, because... I platinum cannibal abduction. Uh, cannibal abduction. Rewind or die. Blood wash. Murder house. Oh, fuck. Do not drop on me. I swear to God, right. So the first one was her eyes, the other one was that monster just be like, what if it comes through the door? Dorothy, there is still time to run. Please listen to me and run. Run while you still can, you fool. Also, it said around the manor. Does that mean outside the manor? Um, I'm just going to play this, like, can't this, like, walk through in the background just so I can, like, see where the other candles are, just in case I've missed some. Just like, because the first jump scare, it switched, but like, I was expecting something to run out, out the door. I love you, Papa Combo, but I hate you at the same time. Oh, no. Run, Dorothy, run. 
I am not going outside. If, that, if, that's, if that's what the game is going to imply very soon, is that, oh, I want you to go outside. No. Refuse. What if it's actually... I'm not allowed back in. Well, that just implies that they're, like, sending you out to die. I'm assuming this is the last one. Farewell. It was nice being a YouTuber while it lasted. Yeah, this is the room that it was getting dragged around. Juliet. Read all of Juliet's diaries. Um. So strange men and women that had glassy eyes, paler skin. They don't seem to not drink. They don't react to anything. They're out the windows. Gunshot. Okay, yeah, I don't want to read all that. Just want to sum it up. I'm sorry that I try to sum it up. I don't you fucking dare. Get a brace in it. A first aid kit. Heal yourself. Yes. Doctor's orders. Use a first aid kit. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I don't want this to be the end. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna turn my volume down just a little bit. An empty cabinet. Oh good. Ah, I've just expected, I've just expected the fucking boss. I just go, whoa! <laughs> I'm all out back in. I don't want to go back, I want to go back. Let me in! Oh, I've got to, well, I'm going to watch the rest of this guy just so I can see where to go. Okay, I just want to say I am not doing this on purpose. I am actually generally shitting my pants. I've got like goosebumps and everything. This is the fear that I felt when I played Amnesia the Bunker for the first time. But this is so much worse. Or maybe it's not. Shouldn't say that, because then the monster will hear me and then it'll come running up them stairs. And now she's floating off the stairs. Dorothy, what are you doing? Dorothy, no. Come back, Dorothy. No. Oh, I hate, how, I hate how the camera angle changed there. So she's slowly. I'm just showing. I'm not doing anything. I don't need stick, stick drift either because I mean, like. Oh, you could definitely do that. You could, like, go down them stairs and then some could peek out. No, Dorothy, come back. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 shit. I'm willing to bet that there's candles. Stop doing that, it's not my audio, right? I don't know if anyone's hearing what I'm hearing, but like, the audio's like, like doing that noise, and then all of a sudden it goes. Dush. Turn out turn acting though for that like for that noise that I just made. No. Oh, that's it. I wasn't so bad. I don't know why I was so scared. And on to the final person. The 
it's locked. No, I don't know why I was like so like tense about that part. The glass is empty. The glass is empty. Maybe there's something in the cabinet, that's the only thing I can think of, or the grandfather clock. Nothing of interest. Nothing that works. So they just all say the same thing. Do I need to take my tablet before I go outside? I'll put this one with the others. The lock pickers under my pillow. Oh, so she's she's the smart one. She she knows like um she she knows what's going on. She's probably like seen this happen like so many times that she's just which um going back to what I was saying about that like how to be video. Um one of the girls does something similar like she doesn't take her pill. She just pretends it. So pretty smart. Cuz apparently sp sorry spoilers for this. Um Ooh. Oh yeah. I left the rifle like we talked about. You have to kill it tonight. The door of the laboratory is under the porch. I have to kill it tonight. Yeah. The chandelier has fallen. Yeah, like I'm like I was saying, like uh, the pill in the in the movie knocks them out, so that's why she doesn't take it. And she's like, she knows all about like what's going on at this orphanage. Um... I don't know. I don't trust the doors. Like all it would all it would take is like one little jump scare just to be like Boom <laughs> It's under the porch though, is this like yeah. Please don't tell me it's locked. It's unlocked now. When was it ever locked? Is this where like the puzzle Aspect is going to come into this game. Oh, I'm willing to bet that she's going to die too. And then some other person's going to come along and end this nightmare. Ooh, you're dead, aren't you? Oh, you're not alive, you're a statue. A realistic statue. I don't like the idea that you say it's right. It's a statue. I would prefer that over. Oh, it's a realistic statue. <laughs> That's much worse. By just adding one word, fucking terrifying. Realistic statue. That means it's gonna move, no doubt. I feel fine. I'm sure you do. Oh, what's behind you? Oh, a hanging corpse. One of them's gonna move. Oh, one of them's gonna scream or something. Apparently not. I don't even know how to use the rifle. Um. If our fucking statue's gone, I'm gonna be like, oh, you right. The fact I'm saying it right now, the fact that it says a realistic statue, what if it isn't a statue? I mean, my partner told me about a story, like a short horror story. Um, 
about like some babysitter uh, she puts the kids to bed and then she's like she contacts the parents and says oh can I put a sheet over the clown statue in your bedroom because it's freaking us out and then the parents are like we don't have a clown statue and then immediately when she goes back to the room it's gone and she rings uh, she rings the police the police arrive and they tell her if you didn't ring us so soon why have I stopped? okay if you didn't ring us so soon um, a portrait of a man is it the doctor if you didn't ring us uh, the guy could have killed you because he's like a, a, a well known psychopath I don't know that's, that's the vibes I'm getting I'm not going to read these because that would like, right, if I read if, if, I, if I read every note up to now, I would be out of breath and that would be like 20 minutes worth, a shelf with hands and other body parts. Why is one moving? Because you need to shoot it. Should I shoot it? Then again, I'm afraid I'll miss. Yeah. A shelf of hands and other body parts. Something is coming. Another theory: What if the what if the realistic statue is like him or his wife's dead body? I don't know. Just like I don't. I just. I don't know. I just don't believe for a second. When like it just feels like very specific wording. It's. I don't know. It just. Yeah. Like, it, if it was just, oh, it's a statue, but a realistic statue. I know I keep like, saying it, but it's it's so hyper-specific that it's not just a statue, it's a realistic statue. Um, and it's like, why would you have that in here? In this like dungeon ass building, other than it's someone's actual corpse, kind of like that Junjito episode about um. Sorry, that that, that Junjito story about uh, a bunch of once again orphans. I think it's orphans, or it's like or it's a school or something, and they worship uh, this statue, and it turns out that it's the principal's ex-wife that's been encased in the statue once again I don't have time to read the letters that's like I said like 20 minutes half an hour on its own also is this like I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just say her story to the end, cause um, I know this video is like getting 47 minutes long. Uh, I don't know. We'll just I just want to see her story to the end, just in case. Because I don't want to be like, oh, um, 
in like 30 minutes when it takes an hour, I'm like, oh, that's the end of the episode. Because I might, I might have only been like 10 minutes away from beating it. So I just want to see her story to its final moments. A realistic statue. Once again, why is it realistic? Also, one of these bodies is gonna move. I am educated in horror. <laughs> I know. Ooh. But. Shoot up! <laughs> Bang! Dorothy, are you okay? She's gonna try and kill us. I suck at shooting in these types of games. I'm afraid there's a problem. Gay bitch. A vessel. Defeat Dorothy. Dorothy. She's gone mad. Dorothy. She's gone mad. What's, what's, what's next to her? She dropped the key. Okay, so there's about like 20 minutes left of this game. I mean, I could possibly finish the entire game. You know what? Screw it. Because I have not actually finished a full game, I don't think... Oh, then again, we finished blood washing that. But I will see this game to the end. Or try to. Let me guess, it's a realistic statue. Okay, where am I? Okay, so I've backtracked. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see this game to the end. Um I really wanna. Cause it seems like there's not much left to the game, and if there's not much left, then what would be the point of ending it right now? Even though I'm uncomfy as shit, sitting in this chair. And once again, getting very hot. I might as well see it at the end. Ooh. 
Okay, yeah, what I'll do is I'll leave that to that. Oh no. Some kind of sonar. I'm not I'm not sure what it's supposed to protect. Okay, yeah, I apologize that I'm just skipping for the letters, but mainly it's to get the trophies and to also Nothing happened. I got every mach control panel though. Did I not? Just seeing where this guy goes to. Because according to this like, YouTube walkthrough, I am 20 minutes away from the finishing line. And... So apparently one of the doors that you pass, you've got to open, which would probably be this one. I'm not supposed to wait for this one, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, here we go. More, more stuff. Perfect. A public address system, turn it on. It seems as if the tapes go on like this endlessly. So it's automated, basically. That was a jump scare. Okay, now I'm assuming we go back and can activate the flavor. Because I've definitely got like every single control panel, I'm pretty sure. I never missed an area. Um, <laughs> I probably missed an area. I didn't expect this game to be like this short. Um, I mean, it's it's good length, but. Why does he look like every single typical, like, Resident Evil? There's that. Yeah, we can definitely finish this game in one playthrough. I mean, like, 58 minutes will probably be, like, cut out.
Mine's not dead yet, why? Mine's dead now, finally! Oh my god. That took way longer than it should have. For the YouTube edit, as I am, I'm, I am streaming this on Twitch. Uh, that took at least five times. No, I, mean, I would say like seven times to, to beat that fucker. I thought I may have been able to execute him, and that's what I was implying. Um, I killed it. You did. Until it comes back to life. Ooh. Shoot it! Like that, she died. <laughs> oh no, she lived. She lived. That is an insanely large enough bug to be a problem, but apparently it's not. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like how quiet it is now. Also, to, wait, 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 wait. I, I might be wrong about this, but when I seen the monster for the first time, it was pure red. Unless, of course, the more people are killed, the more stronger it became. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh wait, no. I think I know how I'm gonna figure out how to get out of here. Um, wherever the bugs go. Wherever they come from. Years down, I can't pass. Or did I just like backtrack? Yeah, um, maybe like the more people are killed, the more like, um, thingy that became. Or maybe I'm just maybe my eyes made it look pure red and it didn't have a head, it looked like it looked like one of them crystal um, enemies from Dark Souls. Um, I'll put up a picture of what that is. I'm talking about. Even though I'm pretty sure there's only like two in the game. I think I just like part of the DLC. Which I never did. So that was my first Dark Souls game. I am confused. I don't like how like calm she is about these bugs either. Like I don't mind bugs, but no. If I've seen like friggin' I don't know how big they are. Uh, they are. They look like a freaking two foot in size. If you, if you put it upwards, it looks like they're two foot, two foot in size. And they're so chill. A tunnel, I feel a breeze. I could probably escape this way if I can remove these bars. Sorry to say, but I do not think you're going to get out of here. I think the monster is not dead. 
it's probably just temporarily stunned. Um, if my Resident Evil knowledge has anything to say about that, I would say you need a rocket launcher <laughs> to finish that monster off. Only rockets can harm it. Or you could do a Joe Valentine and just shove a, a real gun into its mouth, if it has a mouth, or shove it into any passageway you can. And then cut that way. Although I never played the original Resident Evil 3, so I don't know if I'm assuming right, it has to be part of the remaster. Because I heard they took a lot of stuff out the remaster. Sorry, out the original game. So and that's why people hate the remaster. Personally, I hate it because my favorite boy who was on my arm right there has got a nose and it just uh, it annoys me. And once again, I do feel bad for not reading the notes, but it's just so unnecessary to read them. Be on to all that were one, the stair shall the stair shall ascend to the true and only God. I think that's like the first time it's mentioned the glass staircase. Also, I've got a grenade now. Oh, that's fucking epic. <laughs> First aid kit. Why? Why? Wait. Call me skeptical, but why is there a first aid kit? It wouldn't be that there is going to be a monster chasing me, is there? And I'm going to have to figure out how to get out of here. Good game, though. <laughs> from the front cover. I wanted them. Oh shit, can I just like run? Go! I don't believe in hell, but I can fight all of them. I don't know why I said I do not believe in hell. I do not believe for one second I can fight them all. Oh, no, fuck, it's patrolling. I read that was a trophy to use the grenade to blow up in the hole. Oh, I could have seen that coming.
Okay, so I should have just done what this person did. Instead of going through the freaking tunnel on the wall, I should have just, um... I mean, I, I, I knew, I was already thinking in my head as well, oh, I can just go back the way I came. So are they going to be, like, still there? Do I still have a grenade? Just accident. Well, I say accidentally. Oh shit! I know what's coming because um, I looked at the trophies just to see if I was right about one of them but no Go back to the house. Checkpoint, please. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Please. I need to say this because this is this is the edit, obviously. Um, I've been trying to get past that part for 20 minutes. Um, oh great, you know, I'm not going to take any chances. Shit. Oh, fuck. Just let me go, let me go, let me go. Let me run. Twenty minutes of running back and forth between them grenades to get to this point, just to die to go back all the way to the start. It kind of pinch like this. Something was coming. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting the cutscene during that happens. Oh, I don't even know. I 
I'm not gonna question it. So we got the cutscene that happens when we first enter here, but okay, finally. I don't need this anymore. That was very aggressive. I know what's coming. If I got, I don't know if I got an auto save. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't get an auto save. That's gonna be fun. You've unlocked it. I just want out of this game. I mean, I loved it until you stopped. It started giving me like really bad auto saves and not having me spawn right outside the boss door or. Not even like really. Monster's dead when it friggin' shrivels up and shrinks down in size. Please let me let this, this nightmare be over. As much as I love bad endings to horrors where like the main character dies or the monster's still alive, if she dies right now, I would be so pissed. Just let her live. She's been through the torment, she's survived. Let her escape. But let her keep the memories of this damn orphanage. I don't need this anymore. How do you know? How can you be so sure? Who are you? I swear to God, if you say I'm your new dad, I'm going to be so... Are you ready to call Margaret? No. How do you know my name? Oh, and they're alive somehow. So what was it like? dream or was it that's that spirit saying goodbye so many questions which will never be answered unfortunately but that was the glass staircase a very long, I think that's the longest episode we've done for the 31 days. Uh, but I'm glad we got through it fully. I was making a joke in the stream that as soon as I picked up the gun, I was just gonna edit edit it to me saying, um, thank you so much for watching, and just explaining why I stopped, but I kept going, even, even though that autosifts were horrible. Um, 
That was fun though. Um, hopefully it doesn't take them long to bring out another public combo game because I will be recording it straight away. But I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!